another dog winner, and recently he made a record using yet another famous Dubliner, Oscar Wilde. I love this incestuosity. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gavin Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Thank you for coming. Were you very, <laughs> were you very quite unusual kid you know, when you were growing up in Dublin? Unusual, eh? Uh, well, a lot of people said I was unusual. I didn't feel unusual. I liked certain things that other people would call unusual, like makeup and dresses and yeah. eyeliner and things. Like. Did, did they, did they uh, criticize you having a makeup on? Yeah. Uh, usually with a boot in the head, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you were a child, you had uh, something really interesting thing I heard, like some mystical, mystical village. It was just a couple of us when we grew up uh, from Northside Dublin and a couple of guys, some people that ended up being Virgin Bruins and some people ended up being in U2. And uh, we just hung out with each other, had similar interests. We weren't really into football and cider, we were into music. Did, didn't you change your name because of this village? Yes. Well, I didn't change my name. We had a thing that we, we all gave each other names. Yeah. Uh, like, I had no say in my name, I was given it. And uh, the same with Bono and Googie and Strongman and other people. Mm. Why did you choose your name, Gavin? I wasn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't choose it. I was given it. Oh, given it. Simply yeah, they, because, they uh, well, I have a square head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Friday? And Friday, because uh, I'm a man in a million. What have you been doing after? I started a, a cabaret uh, in Dublin in, mm. du in, a, in a club called The Waterfront every Friday night called The Blue Jesus. And uh, that's where I met up with my uh, current piano partner, the man Caesar. Mm. Yeah. With whom you're working recently? Yes, And yes. you made a record? Together, yeah, yeah, with some other musicians, yeah. Uh, you, you used Oscar Wilde on this record? The lyrics of Oscar Wilde, the, the album's called Each Man Kills the Thing He Loves, yeah. and the title track is The Words of I, Oscar Wilde. It's like, when I was growing up, uh, the words and the, the, the poetry and the books of Oscar Wilde were sort of as relevant to me as sort of the music of Mark Bolan or David Bowie. Mm. You know, like Do my picture of Dorian Gray was my friend. Oh, right, yeah. yes. The, uh, in Ireland, like, pop music and art are very close to, do you think? Is that why you are so successful? I'm not successful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. yeah, no uh, yeah, there is. I think in Ireland, uh, you know, the, everyone in music has their heroes, but in Ireland, things like people like Joyce and Wild and Brendan Bean, mm are as much an influence as your Jimi Hendrix or your Bob Dylan's. Uh, now you are going to demonstrate. Demonstrate? I'm going to sing. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully not demonstrate. But you've done it before, haven't you, karaoke singing? You... I, I, yeah, at the launch of my record, uh, we, uh, rather than play the album, which probably most people that came to the launch didn't want to hear, so we had a karaoke, uh, a karaoke night for the launch of the record. and. Uh, Myself and a couple of megas got up and did a few songs. All right. So you know you practiced so well. Like we can oh, yeah. see how it goes, eh? Yeah. So now Gavin Friday is. Mac the knife. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So now Gavin is going to prepare for his song, and you are going to prepare for your second half. Okay. okay. Obvious place See the shark How red his fins are As he slashes At his prey Make the knife worse Kid white gloves Which give the minimum A Hawaii By the Thames As a turbid waters See a corpse stretched By the strand Is it plague or Is it cholera Or a sign Mackie 
Mackie, how much did you charge? 